are you preparing for the USMLE exam to become a doctor in the US? Watch this video till the end to understand USMLE step 1 and step 2. Hello doctors and aspirants, welcome to another video where we help doctors dream bigger and prepare better for a global medical career. On our channel, we discuss everything related to building an incredible career overseas in your dream country. So, subscribe to our channel and hop on our train where we will answer all your questions and bring you fresh updates. In this video, we will compare the first two steps of USMLE exam, which is USMLE step 1 and USMLE step 2. All right, let's start with the eligibility first. So if you wish to take the USMLE step 1 and 2, you should number one, be enrolled in or a graduate of non-US and non-Canadian medical school listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools meeting ECFMG criteria. Secondly, you know, meet any other criteria set by the ECFMG. And PS, if you meet the eligibility requirements, you may take step one and step two in any sequence. However, step three can only be taken after passing the first two steps. It's important. Okay, so now let's move on to the areas assessed. So USMLE step one assesses, number one, your knowledge and application of important concepts and basic sciences. Number two, your understanding of principles and mechanisms underlying health, disease and modes of therapy. Now, what does USMLE 2 assesses? So, it assesses number one, knowledge of medicine, medical skills and clinical skills. Number two, knowledge of health promotion and disease prevention. And uh, now let's talk about how is the exam conducted? What is the exam structure? So, USMLE 1 is 8 hour long with 7 blocks. Each block will last 60 minutes and contain a maximum of 40 items. So the overall uh, number of items will be 280. On the other hand, USMLE 2 is 9 hours long with 8 blocks. And the blocks will be 60 minutes each with 40 items. Now moving on to an important part that is the passing score. How much should you score to get your ticket to practice in the US? Well, before 2022, the USMLE 1 passing score was uh, 196, but now the results will be reported as pass or fail. Coming to the USMLE 2, the passing score is 214. Remember this number, 214. Now, how much exam fee should you pay? Well, the exam fees for step 1 and step 2 are both 1000 US dollars, but additional charges apply if you are taking the exam outside Canada or the US and this is called as the international test delivery surcharge. Okay, so how many times can you take the USMLE exam? Well, you have four attempts for each USMLE step. Also, another uh, important question that where can you take the exam? Well, the USMLE exam can be taken from any country. You can find out the closest Prometric exam center and schedule your exam as per your time and also a table featuring the key differences between the step one and step two of USMLE is displayed on your screens. So we have covered all the important aspects of the USMLE step one and two and if you wish to give it a try academically will be more than happy to help. With our comprehensive USMLE exam preparation courses, you can clear USMLE step 1 in your first attempt. So by filling out the form given in the description, you can also avail of free one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions with our experts today. And uh, we also help other healthcare professionals such as nurses, physiotherapists, dentists, lab technicians, pharmacists, optometrists and many more. So if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and share it with your doctor gang. And guess what? You have the unique opportunity to meet Dr. Akram live. Discuss your career goals, get answers to your questions and be inspired. We are launching our MedConnect All India Tour starting in Chandigarh, Hyderabad, Pune and Kochi. Secure your spot now by registering through the form in the description box. And thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Stay tuned for more such videos. Bye-bye. Take care. Happy studies.